work session where we go through the agenda, everything is explained, we discuss it, and then we might have an executive committee uh, session if needed. Then we come back and have the voting meeting, which lasts approximately five minutes, because what we do is we make a motion to uh, vote on all of the items on the agenda, which have, we have just gone through. So I read them again. So we say, you know, we're going to have, we're going to vote on all of the agenda items. If there's one that uh, needs a voice vote or for some special reason needs to be withheld, then that is done. So we were thinking of trying that now with, with this. Instead of having two separate meetings, uh, I mean, this may be a pattern we establish. No, I don't think so. <laughs> 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 it needs to be discussed. No, we're not. <laughs> But um, you're cutting into all of this great timing. Well, I think I think it's worth saying why we're, we're you know giving a little background. Okay. In other words, instead of having a meeting a week before and then coming back a week later and reading them all through, you know, through all of them again, why not just do it? I, I know too, and again, it doesn't mean that we have to do. Well, and Paul Pack, I believe, does this, but they have to do one evening. I don't know about Wayne Highlands. Attorney here, do you know? I don't. Two. Two meetings for now. Yeah, two. You yeah. would know. Okay. Um, the late Tom Kennedy, uh, a friend of mine, who was a principal at Mount Buffett for many years, he and I worked together, uh, pointed out that they did it in one, one fell swoop. So, anyway, why don't we try it? For tonight. For tonight. Right. Okay. For tonight. All right, Bill. So, that means that we would say, I move that we adopt items number 12 through 23. Withholding, or not voting on, tabling, uh, I guess we might say, item number 22C, item 3. 22C, item 3. Everything but item 22, item C. 22C, item 3. We're going to vote on the fourth motion uh, and just adopt them because we just went over them. So we made the motion. Is that the motion? That's motion. I will second that motion. Okay. Right. So the huge motion was made by Mr. Gershie <laughs> and then seconded by Mr. Hope. Um, yeah, this is dumb. And so we are withholding 22C3. Um, the motion has been made and seconded. Are there any questions or comments or concerns? And by the way, any board member at this point, if you wanted to withhold another item, you could say so. You could say, but I would like to withhold number 12 or number 14. And then after we vote on all of these, we go back and consider those as well. We're good. Any questions? Any comments? All right. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say no. Any abstaining? Any agenda? That's very. Right. Since we withheld that one item, we can just say that we're going to table that, correct? Right, we are. So we, we need to make a motion to I table motion 22. That we table item number 22, C. C. Three. Item three, my second. Okay, so the motion was made by Mr. Gershi and then seconded by Mr. Auckland. Any questions or comments on that one? No. Okay, hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say no. And any abstaining? Okay, so that motion does carry. And we would just one more comment uh, to the public. Three, two, three, if we begin to do this regularly, you would come to the work session, whatever time we would start, and you would see the individual as we individually go through them. And then because of course we don't we often have not had a lot of people at the work sessions anyway. We have a work session the week before, and we go through all of these in detail, and there's maybe one person, sometimes none. So the only difference is that uh, it's, you know, then we read them. We don't discuss them anymore. So the list is there. And if we do this regularly, we would have, I suppose, at 7 o'clock. If we do it regularly, we would maybe meet at 7 or 6.30 or something and, and have the work session and do it this way or even at 7. Well, we, we have to discuss this. Mr. Mr. <laughs> this is too much change in one night. It will obviously streamline the process. <laughs> but I will, I will point out that the work sessions are public meetings. Yeah, right. they are. They're advertised have, properly. Any have. member of the public can attend it. And we hear just have it. I'm going to more detail. So I understand at what Mr. Kirsch is talking about. At 6 o'clock, we just you know, have a public It is a public meeting, meeting and any member yes. of the public can attend it. It's all advertised properly. So. Right. Yeah, absolutely. That's why the IU does it that way. 
Sure, it's nice. Better. Streamline and shorten the yeah. meetings, but it'll, uh, it'll all, it'll, the only thing it does is going to take away is the ability for us to discuss and then digest for that period well, of time. Digest. But but we can still individually hold out items if we have a question. It's true. Uh, so now this is Peter Madam President, yes. we're an informational item. <coughs> yes. Yes, we are at informational items. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. Um, we had the semi-formal uh, December 1st, and December 4th is the middle school 7th and 8th grade course. The 6th, we have at R.D. Wilson the grades 3 and 4th concert at 7 o'clock. December 7th at Evergreen is uh, Parent Day. Um, December 11th is the middle school 7th and 8th grade band concert. On the 13th, we have Evergreen 3rd and 4th grade concert. December 13th is R.D. Wilson PTA meeting at 6.30. December 14th is the high school concert at 7. December 21st is the early dismissal Christmas break at noon. Um, January 7th through the 18th is the winter Keystone exams. January 8th is the 6th grade band and chorus concert at 7. On January 16th is the high school curriculum night at 6 o'clock. And then on January 24th, 26th, we have PMEA district band. Okay. Um, any correspondence? No. Um, any super questions on the superintendent's report? Uh, the assistant superintendent's report? Anything on the principal's report? Um, any federal programs to report? No. no. Um, is there other business? Um, the only thing I did want to say is I really wanted to thank our community so much um, for their just so giving. Um, we had the food drive and that was phenomenal. And then we did the semi-formal dresses and the dresses, and then we did the pajama drive. And I just really am so grateful to our community. They always step up and they give. And so thank you to everyone who has given. It really um, is just so wonderful of our community. So I definitely wanted to say that. Is there any other business? Uh, I wanted to say thank you to the, everyone that attended the uh, girls' basketball at their cash bash on Saturday night at our place in Hamlin. It was a fantastic event. It was built capacity, and they, I believe, a very good fundraiser in a short period of time. So I think they, they did very well. With it. Yeah. Any other business? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to just follow up with uh, Ms. Boots' her award there. Back a while ago, when we had a problem with the party uh, was carpeting, she was very, she was very passionate about keeping the carpet. So, so she drove me around the school. That's how I got the award, each spot where, where a child might sit here, might sit there. And at that time, I, I remember thinking, like, wow, this woman is really passionate about this school. So it does not surprise me. Congratulations. Anyone else? Okay. Um, so future meetings on Monday, January 7th at 6 o'clock. We have our work session here. And as for now, the 14th is um, at 7 o'clock the public board meeting. Um, informational meetings on um, November 5th, we had our executive session for personnel prior to the board committee meeting. And then November 27th at 6 o'clock, we had the board committee meeting at the district office here. Can I have a motion for 32, please? Adjournment. Thank you, Mr. Enslin. Seconded by Mr. Hope. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, and have a great Christmas.